Welcome to the series of spoken tutorials on Inkscape. In this series, we will familiarize ourselves with Inkscape and its features. We will learn to draw and edit various predefined shapes. Use the color wheel. Use the Bezier tool. Use and manipulate text as per requirement. For example, superscript and subscript. Superimpose image on text. In this series, we will also learn to create a tile pattern using a combination of shapes, graphics like a flower, brochures and flyers, posters and banners, CD labels, visiting cards, logos and many more. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 and Windows 7 OS. Inkscape version 0.48.4 Inkscape is an open source vector graphics editor. It works on Linux, Mac OS and Windows. Inkscape can be used for all kinds of 2D graphic design such as to draw illustrations and figures or cartoons, to create colorful patterns or backgrounds, to create a web page layout, to trace images, to create web based buttons and icons, to manipulate images for the web. Inkscape can be installed on Ubuntu Linux using Synaptic Package Manager. For more details on Synaptic Package Manager, refer to the Linux tutorials on this website. Go to Dash Home, type Inkscape. You can open Inkscape by double clicking on the logo. Now, we will learn to install Inkscape on Windows. Open your browser, go to inkscape.org. Click on Download button. Select the installer option corresponding to Windows. You can find the sentence download Inkscape with its version. Click on it. Notice a dialog box appears. Click on save. The installer file will be downloaded on your machine. Go to downloads folder. Double click on the exe file to install Inkscape. The default language is English. Now click on next. Again click on next. Again click on next. Destination folder dialog box appears. By default, Inkscape is saved in program files. Now click on install. Inkscape is installing. This may take few minutes. Click on next. Click on finish to complete the installation. Now the Inkscape software opens up automatically. If not, Notice there is a shortcut icon created on the desktop. Double click to open it. If both these methods to open Inkscape fail, you can click on start menu, all programs and then on Inkscape. The Inkscape interface will now be opened. Now I will switch back to Linux to complete this demonstration. However, the steps shown will work in Inkscape on any OS. The main drawing area is called canvas. This is where we will create all the graphics. There are various tool options and menu options in Inkscape. We will learn about each one in detail in the series. Now let's briefly learn how to use Inkscape. We will create a rectangle shape by selecting the rectangle tool. To draw the rectangle shape, click on the canvas and drag. Here is our rectangle. Let me save this Inkscape drawing. Go to file menu, click on save. I will name it as drawing underscore one dot svg file and save it in my documents folder. Here svg denotes the default Inkscape file extension. We will learn more about Inkscape and its exciting features in the coming tutorials. I have already shown you glimpses from the tutorials in this series earlier. 
The video available at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken tutorial project is supported by NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. We have come to the end of this tutorial. This is Aarti from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.